What's going on? It's Kay here from Ain't Got A Clue podcast. Uh, thanks for listening. But guys, uh, did you know that we've got a Patreon? Yeah, that's right. Uh, every time we drop an episode on a regular feed, which you're listening to currently and you're subscribed to and you follow, uh, we also drop an episode on our Patreon. And that one's an exclusive episode, especially for the people that support our Patreon page. Um, and our patrons also get our regular content early without any advertisements. Yeah, you know I mean, there's no ads. No one's trying to sell you like a shaver to shave your nuts with or or something like that right so here's a clip of one one of them sounds like the Yo. question is which apollo mission was successful in putting the first humans on the moon um i ain't got a clue apollo 11 okay do you know what's so funny right i've been going through all the rockies recently rocky films <laughs> So Apollo has been on my mind, Apollo Creed. So um, hearing an 11 after it's a bit of a mind. So how I'm going to make you remember the answer to this question is we're actually going to talk about the Rocky films. No, we're not at all, actually, bro. Oh, man. (laughs) excited for a second. I watched Creed as well. Uh, Okay. What is it that makes all of these films so good? Is it the motivational speeches that you get in it? Because I feel like they're motivating Can I just say something before any of that, before I answer that, right? God protect Sylvester Stallone. Oh, right. don't put that out there, Kay. Hold on, hold on. Because what, what I'm because I watched Creed again, right? Yeah. The first Creed, right? Yeah. yeah. And in that, he's got cancer. Mm. And I'm not going to lie to you, brother. I shed a tear as I was watching it going, I know this is Rocky Balboa in the film, but if Sylvester Stallone, that, I think I'm going to need about three or four days off just to recover. I, I'll probably have to grieve for him because. He has been so instrumental in some of the, mo- mo- well, I say instrumental, but like, you know what I mean? I've watched Rocky. I've watched the Rambos. I'm like, I'd be like, fuck, man, I miss this guy. Is it fair to say out of all of the Hollywood A-listers out there, he's the responsible, he's responsible for the most number of calories burnt ever? Him and Arnie. Him and Arnie. Arnie, Arnie I feel amazed at. No, do you know what? When, when there was had, pumping Arnie, iron. Yeah. Arnie created... The Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. <laughs> this you is a real thing. A hundred percent. I had no idea. So I ain't got a clue. He created a book called the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding, where him and his training partner, they did every sort of exercise under every sort of rep or rep range, whatever, and they looked at their um, growth and whatever, and they put it into a book, bro. He's responsible for, yeah, I, he's got to be responsible for more calories than Sly. Sly though. Everyone, like, he's probably responsible for a lot more gold medals. Oh, really? For the thrill of the fight? For the eye of the tiger, the the runners? The amount of Olympians that go, yeah, I just went home, watched Rocky, and then came out, and like, and you're like, okay, cool, yeah, I get it, like, this is nothing to do with space. No, in fact, here's how I'm going to help you remember. I'm going to tell you a little story about the Apollo program, all right? So the Apollo program, Kate, also known as Project Apollo, was the third United States human space flight program carried out by the National National Aeronautics and Space Administration, a.k.a. NASA. That's all right. So, so they're the guys that make the jackets, the puffer jackets. <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I suppose they're getting some sort of money off the new fashion, yeah, of jackets where people, because aviation jackets, a.k.a. Avarexes, like back in the yeah, 90s yeah. and early 20s, they were they were cool when people wore jackets that pilots wore, but now that's not enough. It's just, it's a bomber jacket now that you have to put a NASA logo on With it. With a NASA badge yeah, it's on just, it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd, listen... I'm not knocking people. Wear what you want, but I ain't really the first jacket I'm going to be putting They need on. to be fit as well. They probably watch Rocky as well before they go to space. Of course. They need to be in great shape to be in space. As a matter of fact, if I had to go to space and all they gave me was Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, Rocky Balboa yeah. and then Creed and Creed 2, I'd be fine. You wouldn't even need atmosphere. You'd be like, I don't need that. The, watch all of those films. Those, I'll hold my breath. Those eight films? Yeah. Eight, eight now. Jesus Christ! Yeah, if you if you count Creed, hell. if you count Creed yeah. as part of the series, sorry, <laughs> we're, we're really going this back to it. Yeah. This isn't a Rocky Balboa trivia <laughs> episode, but yeah, if you really go back to it now, like, and you add Creed into it, it is, um, yeah, that's like one of the longest franchises. Eight films. That's Star Wars territory. 
Fast and the Furious territory crazy. Anyway, so the Spoiler, the, the NASA space program, program called the Project Apollo, uh, put the first humans on the moon between the years 1969 to 1972. Obviously, that depends on whether you're a conspiracy theorist or not. I don't, do you believe that they really went to the moon? Bro, if you look at the moon, when the moon is on there, you see that what they've done is um, they've got a flag, the American flag, God bless the flag of America. What it has on there actually is wind. Now, if we're being real, we all know there is no wind on the moon. However, on this footage, <laughs> on this footage, there seems to be wind and the flag is waving. This isn't the World Cup in South Africa. This isn't Kanan going, wave your flag, wave your flag. This is a conspiracy. And Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and the rest of the guys, those losers on that flight or rocket or whatever you want to call, they are all in on it. Um, <laughs> Don't know where I came from. And um, if you listen to Jay Z backwards, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> while saying Nasser, Satan, Satan. Um, so the, the mission we're most familiar with is Apollo 11, right? That's the one that put Neil Armstrong on the moon. You know, um, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yeah? I'm, I'm not familiar with, um, I was more familiar with Apollo 13. <laughs> You're more familiar, you are more familiar with Apollo 13. The film, isn't it? You're more fi- familiar with Apollo 13, but you know that, that Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So hold on, hold on. Apollo 11 mm-hmm. was the first one. In... That was the first one to put people on the moon. So Neil Armstrong was so in Apollo 11. So the other 11. 10 were fails. Oh, well, I don't want to go through all of them, but there were like ones that just didn't get up They're there. They're fails, bruv. There were See, people that didn't make it. It was, it was some, some ropey times, All right, all right look, this yeah. is an important thing, right, to realise, right? Mm-hmm. The Russians are better. No, I'm joking. No, 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 I'm just, and that ties in again. This podcast with, is sponsored by Putin. Uh, hold on, so hold on. Yeah, go on. Th- that ties in again with Rocky IV. Because oh, obviously, <laughs> obviously, Apollo Creed died uh, because of Ivan Drago. Ivan Drago was part of the Soviet Union. At the same time, there was this massive space race going on between the cosmonauts and the astronauts, etc., etc. There we go. I could tie anything back to. Uh, Rocky now. This is going to happen a lot in this podcast, isn't it? Yeah. But one thing I will say, though, is yeah. there's a good there's a good lesson to be learned in that, that um, failure is necessary for any sort of success. So, look, they failed 10 times before they got to the 11th. 100%. There were some fails, and there were some missions that were like a prerequisite ones. So Apollo 10 was the dress rehearsal for Apollo 11's infamous moon landing. So what they did was they went up into space and tested everything. And this was like getting in a car and going around the block, making sure that the tyre uh, uh, all pumped up right, making sure that you got enough windscreen wiper washer. They were the warm-up DJs. They were the warm-up DJs. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they, were the war- <laughs> they were the warm-up DJs before the actual DJs came to play tonight. Space warm-up DJs, yeah. 100%. So like, like, you know when you go to a festival and then it's like people are just walking in and you're just seeing somebody on on the... Um, on the stage and you're like who's this and it's like you're just hearing like <laughs> girl I'm a cry down over you over you and it feels like you're in like a pure gym at like 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah and the DJ's standing there like I don't want to be here I wish I was I wish I was doing main set well they, that's what they look like and then they open their mouth and they're like well it's festival are you ready and you're like bro we're just coming in in it like let me get my bearings I, I don't even I'm in a line it's sponsored by Red Bull they're just offering me all sorts of alcoholic drinks with Red Bull do you want a Baileys with Red Bull no I don't right <laughs> Where, can I get a Diet Coke we only have Red Bull <laughs> so this is essentially what these guys were they were that warm up DJ they were the warm up DJs for the main guys and if NASA hadn't released a 500 page transcript of everything that was said on that flight this probably wouldn't have been a very notable thing. There'd be nothing to talk about. We wouldn't even talk about Apollo 10, but I've found some actual audio logs from the flight because something went down. There is, well, there's, there was a mystery, bruv, that we had to save. Something happened on Apollo 10. So I'll give you the quick rundown. On the May the 18th, 1969, Commander P- Thomas P. Stafford, John W. Young and Eugene A. Cernan launched Apollo 10. Everything was going just fine for the crew of the Apollo until this happened. This is actual audio that I've managed to find. Oh, who did it? 
To listen to that, plus a bunch of other Patreon exclusives, go on to patreon.com forward slash ain't got a clue. You know, sign up to the Patreon page or just check the episode description and, and click the link there as well. Peace.